okay guys next what we'll be discussing is the regulation of blood pressure with the help of baroreceptor reflex right baroreceptors are located at carotid sinus and the aortic sinus okay and these are mechanical receptor they get stimulated when they are stretched now let's suppose your body has increased your blood pressure somehow so more blood will go to these area and this would stretch the carotid and the aortic sinus now once these are stretched this will stimulate the ninth and the tenth nerve right once ninth and the tenth nerve are stimulated it would activate the nucleus tractus solitarius now once nucleus tractus solitarius is activated it sends neuron to cardio inhibitory center to get activated cause your blood pressure has increased your ninth and tenth nerve are firing your goal is to decrease blood pressure that's why you stimulate cardio inhibitory center that would slow down the heart with the help of vagus now this cardio inhibitory center is also called cardio vagal center cause it is sending vagus to do that now you don't want cardio acceleratory system to come up and stimulate your heart cause your goal is to decrease heart rate and do vasodilatation to decrease the blood pressure that's why nucleus tractus solitarius also inhibits the cardio acceleratory center also it inhibits the vasomotor center so there is no vasoconstriction right and this cardio acceleratory center is also called rostral ventrolateral medulla and cardio inhibitory center also called cardio vagal center now let's check and review it very rapidly there is high blood pressure more firing of 9th and 10th now discharge from baroreceptor stimulation of nucleus tractus solitarius this would stimulate cardio inhibitory center or cardio vagal center that would decrease the heart rate and inhibition of cardio acceleratory and vasomotor center that would result in and all of this will result in low bp now question what if you clamp your carotid artery right here you clamp your carotid artery right here that means there is no blood going into your carotid sinus and now there is no discharge no stimulation of nucleus tractus solitarius no stimulation of cardio inhibitory center so there is ref so so in turn this inhibited centers cardio acceleratory center and vasomotor center are no more inhibited so they will get stimulated and increase the blood pressure so in a nutshell if more blood is going to carotid sinus and aortic sinus it will reflexly lower the bp if less blood is going it would increase the blood pressure which of the following statement about vasomotor center is true it acts along cardio vagal center carotid sinus baroreceptor are seen at origin of internal carotid artery that means as once they are bifurcating the internal carotid artery limb has that discharge from baroreceptor causes inhibition of rostral ventrolateral medulla or cardio acceleratory center clamping of carotid artery increases the blood pressure and increases the artery next is the central chemoreceptors right central chemoreceptors are very sensitive to partial pressure of carbon dioxide here is a classical case you have a tumor in your central nervous system that would exert pressure in the ventricles say and that would create high intracranial pressure and this high intracranial pressure compresses the veins right so once veins are compressed carbon dioxide cannot go out anymore so there is accumulation of carbon dioxide and this would stimulate the central chemoreceptor now what's different from the baroreceptor which we have talked is central chemoreceptor simultaneously activate both sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system sympathetic nervous system do vasoconstriction with the help of that vasomotor center and that creates hypertension and parasympathetic nervous system with the help of that cardiovagal system uh, slows down the heart that means it produces bradycardia and with addition of irregular respiration so you have a triad of vasoconstriction that is producing hypertension at the top you have bradycardia and irregular respiration everything is going opposite in this direction right and this triad is called cushing reaction it specially happens due to intracranial tumor a triad of bradycardia hypertension and irregular respiration called cushing reflex stimulation of chemoreceptor causes 
Look, I said that stimulation of chemoreceptor causes bradycardia, hypertension and irregular respiration. But if you stimulate the chemoreceptor, sometimes your other mechanism also start coming into action and the net result is not always bradycardia. I'm not saying bradycardia is wrong. Answer should be bradycardia. But the net result is not always bradycardia. Some other reflex factors come into play and you'll result in tachycardia. And this is the controversial question and you might choose to skip this one to prevent negative marking.